Hey guys, um, I just got two new Marvel movies, and I'm gonna show you my Marvel movie collection. And as I get it, like, a few more things each time, I'll make a new video. There's a couple I had to change. I have to upgrade the, um, Thor and the Avengers to Blu-ray 3D. I have the, um, regular Blu-ray of Thor, and I have the DVD of the Avengers. Well, of course, they're my mother's. So is X-Men First Class and the Blu-ray of, Blu-ray 3D of Thor The Dark World, so. Not much. Uh, my mom doesn't really want me to say that, but, yeah. It's my personal preference about the collection. This is all the movies I have, and I'm just going to show you what I have. So first up is X-Men. This is made by 20th Century Fox. Um, this one, actually, um, I got this at HMV for $8. For a Blu-ray of the first X-Men movie, the first really, like... I'm really only into X-Men, Spider-Man, and the cinematic universe of this. But for this this movie, on Blu-ray, two-disc set, great bonus features, great deal. I haven't put it into the player yet, though. I'm still watching X-Men First Class, because I want to get geared... I'm, I'm going to watch X-Men First Class, and then I'm going to watch this, because I'm going to go see... Um, I don't know if I'll have to watch this, but... I'm going to go see X-Men First Class in theaters. When it went on the... On the sat on I think on um, this Saturday yeah this Saturday I'm gonna go see it side back same thing and this is a 2013 reprint of the 2009 Blu-ray 2009 Blu-ray just came in like you could only get it in the X-Men trilogy but in 2013 they were released individually so there's the Blu-ray disc one and the disc two so Ian McCall so this movie has um Ian McKellen as Professor X I mean, no no Ian McKellen as Magneto Patrick Stewart is Professor X, and Hugh Jackman is Wolverine. I love... comes in a great case, too. I like that. I know Blue Collection would be happy to hear that. Blue Collection Disney Toys, actually. Blue Collection Disney Toys, if you're watching this, um, I know how much you hate eco-friendly cases. I do, too, but they're not worth uh, ripping, in my opinion. But I, I, just, I just keep it in the eco case. Like, my... Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone Blu-ray, the best of one one down there. That's actually um, in an eco case as well. But I didn't rip it up or anything. I didn't change it, but it's not worth ripping up. Now, I don't have... No, okay, so I... No, sorry, uh, I was thinking of the next one after this one. But actually, here we go. Spider-Man. Um, comes... Um, this is the Washington Social Edition. Got this at... Um, HMV back in 2010. Six bucks. Really good. Side in the back. This is, of course, a 2005 reprint. It's a 2002 DVD, 2005 reprint. You know how I know? Look at the logo. So many pictures from entertainment. And it also has the French on it, so that kind of explains it. Yeah. Lots of good bonus features. For Six dollars. Sadly, at HMV now, they were five dollars for a while, and then I guess people not, not enough people were buying them, so they actually had to raise the price to twelve ninety nine, which is kind of a bummer, but... I'm glad I got this for six dollars when what, back in 2010. There's just one with Spider-Man. One thing that's kind of annoying is that the widescreen cover is the full screen disc card, but the full screen cover is the widescreen disc card. It's kind of confusing in some ways because like um, it's always the other way around. Like this is the widescreen disc, but that's the cover for the full screen edition DVD. Really annoying. And there's the um, second disc with the Green Goblin. Try not to talk too fast. Because that's my habit. I talk too fast sometimes. Sorry sorry if you hear me talk fast in my videos. It's just my habit. Because I'm always eager to show what I have. Here's Spider-Man 2. Watching Special Edition. This is an interesting kind of case. It doesn't have the flip tray for two discs, but I'll show you what it has. This is a... Uh, this is actually my... I think I like this one better than Spider-Man 1. I saw The Amazing Spider-Man 2, like, on last week, I think. Yeah, la last week. Um, not last week, but a couple weeks ago on Tuesday. On a Tuesday, guess what? I loved it. I I didn't think the first one was so amazing, but it's still worth getting. I'm I'm not gonna I'm I'm gonna get that for my birthday this year. The 3D combo pack because I had to choose between the 4K one and the 3D one. But I thought like the 3D one would have way more bonus features, so I said uh, move over the 4K one. Just get the 3D pack. Even though I don't have a 3D TV, but I still like to have the 3D packs to to have, like, the complete edition. Like, the most ultimate one. There's the 
disc one and disc two. I like how the first disc. Same with the that one. The same with all three, like, the first disc has the good guy, second disc has the bad guy. But for Star Wars, it's the other way, like, um, first disc has the bad guys, second disc has the good guys. I don't like, I don't like how they did that sometimes. Then I, I should know, I'm missing also, um, I forgot to say, before Spider-Man 2, I'm missing X2 X-Men United, but I'm just gonna get that on the regular DVD, I think. I'm also missing X-Men The Last Stand. Which I'll get that on the right, on the widescreen DVD course. I don't know if the X2 X Men United is fail widescreen, but if it is, I'll get it. Leave a comment down below if you know if it is. So here's um, Spider Man 3, to the special edition. Now my um, one of my, my now my mom's friend's son. Well, of course, my he's his brother's my friend. He's my friend too. He's like he's in primary grade primary right now. That's what we call kindergarten in Canada, Nova Scotia. Um, he loves Spider-Man, and for his, um, fifth birthday, we actually, um, we saw, we went to Toys R Us, and, like, it's two for fifteen dollars, it was seven and a half each, so we got one for us and one for him. So I thought that was a great deal, that you could buy two, like, but of course he ripped, I think he ripped up the insert and all, like, it, all that's in the, there's the disc, like, the disc one. Yeah, I remember going to his house and seeing that, so... He has like the other Spider Man's too, like the full he has the full screen editions of the first two. Plus he has the um Spider Man the New Animated series, which I really enjoyed that series. I don't know. There's some some of them are still in print, but I'm not really that eager to get them. I just I thought the animation was cool because same animation company is the movie Stuart Little Three Call of the Wild. So there's this one with the red Spider Man. This two with the black Spider Man. He's really bad. That's the that's basically like the enemy he discovers within himself. It's really good, I think. Next up, Iron Man. This is the Ultimate Two Disc Edition. I love the I love the slipcover. Just feel how glossy that is. Compared to the X Men, this is way better than the X Men slipcover I have. There's the back Canadian copy. Of course, it's always Canadian copy. Oops. And look at just look at this. You probably won't be able to see how nice it looks on camera, but in person, it looks really nice. But then. Back, it even looks good. It's like the opposite of the cover. Like, uh, like it's kind of confusing. There's um no disc artwork, sadly. So there's just one with the movie. Just two with special features. I do know that Toy Collector and um, Mr. Marvel Collector um something I forget the number. Mr. Marvel Collector something the number I forget. Um has the Blu-ray Ultimate Two Disc Edition. I got the DVD one because it was um it was five dollars. I went to I went to the to the to Wolfville, Nova Scotia today. It was the Valley. And they had this movie store, which I... It was really good. Movie and bookstore. I got that for $5. Plus, I got The Incredible Hulk for $10. Really, really cool. I like that deal. It was a great deal. This one is pretty cool slip cover. Now, now when you buy this edition, you, you don't get a slip cover, but you, won't, but you also um, only get a blue case, not the cool green case, because it matches, like, the Hulk. And, um... This is really good. I haven't put this in yet, though. Open it up. Oh, oops. Yeah. There's the Blu-ray disc. This is the only one of the Cinematic Universe films that has artwork. All the other ones don't. There's digital copy code. It's expired now, so you can look at it if you want. Won't be able to see it, though, because of my camera lighting, though. And there's the bonus digital copy disc. Kind of. This is really cool, actually. I'm glad, I'm picked, I'm glad I picked this up, because, like, that edition is quite hard to find now. Now I'm missing um, X Men Origins Wolverine, which I'd get the Ultimate Two Disc Edition Blu-ray. I'm missing Iron Man Two also, which I would get the three disc combo pack, which is the two Blu-rays and the DVD. That's what I would get for that film. Oops, yeah, oops. <laughs> so hard to handle this with one hand. Like, gotta bring them all over. It's really hard because, like, yeah, I have I have a lot. Still plan to get more. Now this one is one I have to upgrade to the three D combo pack. And it's probably going to be very tough on my mother. She, This is hers, of course, yeah. Because I saw Thor, both Thor and Captain America in 3D once at Walmart, so I'll probably pick those up sometime. But yeah. This is this is still a good set. It's a nice glossy slipcover. Those two that I, saw, that I saw didn't come with slipcovers. But this is a nicer slipcover, I think, because it has, like... I like the ones with... I like ones with more characters better than just one character. Like, 
The 3D, 3D cover only has, like, Thor with his hammer. This one has, like, Thor, and there's also a Jane, Loki. Loki's awesome. Loki's definitely awesome. Me and my mom are Loki fans. Um, there's, um, Odin, and there, I forget his name. I saw this in theaters. It was my idea to go. And we really enjoyed it, actually. It was a great movie. This is Paramount, of course. The distribution rights of it, of course. Same with Iron Man. And Iron Man 2 and Captain America as well. It's gone to Disney now. It's a Paramount film. Of course, the three Spider-Man films are from... Clump, were from Sony Pictures. Iron Man was from Paramount. Uh, Incredible Hulk was from Universal Studios. This was from... Uh, Paramount. There's the Blu-ray. Of course, there's no Blu-ray 3D in here, but I had to upgrade that. There's the DVD and digital copy. There's the code. You'd need the disc, anyway. It's, it's weird that Paramount did their movies back then. In an eco-friendly case. I know... Blue Collection Disney Toys, if you're watching, I know it bugs you again. Again, I'm saying that, because it doesn't bug me all that much, but it's um a little bit annoying in some ways. Um, we got X-Men First Class. This is a 20th Century Fox movie. My mom ordered this from Amazon, because she loves the actor Michael Fassbender. She also likes James McAvoy. Now, it's hard to put this in her... It's hard to decide whether to put this in her Michael, Fa in her Michael Fassbender collection or her James McAvoy collection. Um... I think that it would be better in the Michael Fassbender collection because um, she only has one other James McAvoy movie, which is Atonement from Focus Features. This is actually... Um, I wa I'm watching this right now. It's part of seeing of it. It's really good. Can you believe the guy that has the oracle on the internet of how many actors connect to him? Kevin Bacon is in this movie. But he's the bad guy, which I think is kind of quite impressive, actually. He, did, he does a really good bad guy in this movie, I think. There's the Blu-ray with... Professor X, I don't know his name. That's Raven. There's, um... I forget her name. I forget his name, actually. I forget name. Then we have the digital copy, which has Magneto, um, Kevin Bacon, bad guy. There's Emma Frost, and I forget his name. I don't know, see, I don't know a lot of the characters, because I'm just watching this movie, because I... Like I said, I'm going to go see X-Men Days of Future Past. I don't know if I said... I'm going to see X-Men Days of Future Past this Saturday. And it's coming out on the Friday, of course, you know. I think, yeah, May 22nd is coming out. Or maybe May 20... May 22nd or May 23rd. So here's the Marvel's The Avengers. Had to upgrade this to Blu-ray 3D. One thing I noticed here is that this copy's fake. Is look at look at how the PG rating looks. Not, not sure if you guys can see, but... It doesn't look really real. Don't, you don't know if you guys can see. But in person, it doesn't really look real. I think this is actually a counterfeit. Myself, and someone just bought the original copy and just put, like, a fake one. They want to get the case themselves. Uh, it's kind of confusing. Yeah, this, um, this little uh, Marvel booklet of all the different products, like the Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and different things. Again, plain, boring disc, no artwork. Again, had to get the Blu ray 3D of that. It's really expensive, so maybe I'll just, um, maybe I'll sometime maybe ask for the. Uh, the Best Buy one from the States, which actually came with, like, the light-up box, and it came with, like, the character encyclopedia and the Blu-ray 3D movie. That's probably what I'll ask for. So I don't have Captain America, the first Avenger, either. So, um, Marvel's The Avengers, actually, um, I need to upgrade that to Blu-ray 3D. Don't have, um, Amazing Spider-Man 3D yet. Gonna get that for my birthday, I think. Then, don't have Iron Man 3 in 3D yet. Don't have the Wolverine in 3D yet. But now, here's what you've all been waiting for. Remember, I did an unboxing of this. Thor the Dark World. I gotta speed this up, because um, I'm running out of time. I gotta put my videos shorter than 15 minutes. Blu-ray 3D, wires, the Blu-ray. Sorry if I'm going too fast, because like, um, I don't want to go over 15 minutes. So, then when um, Winter Soldier... Um, Amazing Spider-Man 2 and Days of Future Past come out. I'll be getting those uh, probably as well. Sometime. Not, not right when they came out, but sometime. So there's my Marvel collection. You can pause and look at it if you want. I'll probably... I'm still going to upgrade. I'll let you know when I do. I'll make videos. So yeah, bye.